I have one going to go through a few basics of domain here. So we have our house, which is completely unprotected. I'm going to go ahead and go inside and just place one of our homestead blocks. Um, you can call the block whatever you want and set up whatever way we call it homestead. So if you right click to place it and then take a step outside, you'll see that the field is outlined in orange glass. We can also go ahead and right click the field with nothing in our hands. Click on the field information button and then field information. And that's going to tell us in the bottom corner there how many blocks we use. So we have a fair bit of space left over and our pigs are not protected. So let's go ahead, we'll right click again, click edit, and then we're going to go to resize. Once we resize, we get given a domain resize one. So if you hover over it, you're going to get the instructions. So we're going to go out and set our two corners. The main field to set up is a cuboid. So you just set two corners and you're good to go. This blue wool indicates the initial size. Um, that was the default. But we're going to go over and set it just all the way over here. So I've designated this one corner one. It doesn't matter if it's corner one or corner two. It just depends if you left click or right click. So I'm going to left click here and our corner one is set. You can see our field looks a little strange right now because we haven't set the second corner. So we are going to go ahead and head over to the platform I made for that. And head on up. Again, this will indicate the original size. If I was to right click it, it would set our second corner and you can see now our field is set to a, a, a decent size, it's green, which means it's allowed to be set, and it covers our pigs. However, we still have some blocks to spare, so why don't we head on up, and we are going to set corner two here at the green spot. That's going to give us a whole lot more height, but if we were to go any higher, you can see that the fields become invalid. We are using too many blocks. So, if the field goes red, you will not be allowed to set it at this size. So, we'll just go ahead and right-click the green one again. And we'll head back to the block to close it up. Make sure you don't click anything else with the resize block while you're heading back, or you will have to set your corners again. Right, once you're back at the block, you just simply right click it with the wand, and you can see that our field is now covering the additional space that we specified. Um, to go through a few more options on the block, you could go ahead and right click. We have a display field button that just basically does what we saw when we first started. It's going to show us how it We can go into the edit field. We can change the name of the field. We can change the welcome or farewell messages. We can resize, as you've already seen. We can merge multiple blocks together if we want the additional size without placing the second block. Open for commands is something that you probably won't use as a player, but it is a possibility if your admin's allowed. You can take the block away if you don't want to have it here anymore, and you can enable or disable. If you go back into field information, we have the field information which you've seen. You can also look to see who is in the field. It's going to tell you in the text chat at the bottom if there's anyone else skulking around. And you can go ahead and click into flags. The flags are what tell us what can be done and what can't be done inside the field. To disable a flag, you just simply click it, it'll turn red, or you can click it again, it'll turn green. It's multiple pages, uh, depending on how your server is set up. And then the next important one would be permissions. So right now, we don't have any permissions for other players. If we want to add a player, you can go ahead and click the button at the bottom here. And then in the chat, we can enter the name of the player exactly. That player would now be allowed to the field. And you can see you know, our player right there. If we decided we didn't want the player here anymore, we can just go ahead and remove them. Um, I hope that's helped. I'll be adding more videos explaining some of the more detailed features soon. Thanks.